If you're new to Blender or just trying to master the essentials, you're in the right place. Today, I'm breaking down six of the most fundamental tools in object mode. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to move, rotate, scale, and even measure and annotate objects, all while adding new shapes like a pro. To add a new mesh to your scene in Blender, go to the Add menu at the top, select Mesh, and pick the shape you want. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut Shift plus A for quicker access to the mesh options. You'll see a small cursor, known as the 3D cursor, at the center of your new mesh. This 3D cursor determines where new objects will appear in your scene. To adjust its position, hold Shift and right-click on the spot where you'd like your next object to appear. This allows for precise placement of objects within your workspace. Move Tool, Positioning Your Object This one's like the bread and butter of object mode. It allows you to place objects anywhere in your 3D space. Just click on your object, hit G4 grab, and start moving it around. But wait, here's a game changer. If you want to move it along a specific axis, just press X, Y, or Z right after G to snap it to that direction. You'll use the Move tool constantly. It's ideal for quickly adjusting layouts or tweaking positions. Rotate tool, changing object orientation. This is your go-to for spinning and tilting objects. Select your object, hit bar for rotate, and see how it moves. Again, the X, Y, and Z keys come in handy to rotate along a specific axis. And here's a bonus tip. Double tap R to enter trackball mode. Now you can rotate the object in multiple directions at once. Perfect for more dynamic adjustments. Scale tool, adjusting object size. This tool lets you resize your object, either making it larger, smaller, or just stretching it on one axis. Just press S and move your mouse to scale. Like with the others, hit X, Y, or Z to scale on a single axis. Knowing how to scale precisely helps create proportional, balanced designs. Super important for any 3D scene. Annotation tool, taking notes right on your 3D scene. Think of it as leaving sticky notes on your project. Perfect for reminders, marking edits, or sharing tips with collaborators. Just select the annotation tool on the left, then click to start writing. You can change colors and thicknesses in the annotation panel on the right, making it easy to keep everything organized. Annotations are ideal for planning out changes or keeping track of important details. And they stay in place while you work, so you'll never forget what you wanted to tweak. Measure tool, getting precise dimensions. Now let's talk precision. The Measure tool is all about getting accurate dimensions, which is key when creating realistic models. With the Measure tool, just click and drag from one point to another. You'll see the exact distance appear right there, no guessing needed. Perfect for double-checking proportions or lining up objects precisely. Let's take a quick look at the Transform tool in Blender. It's right here in the toolbar, the icon with arrows. Click it, and you'll see three color-coded handles appear around your object red, green, and blue for the X, Y, and Z axes. Grab a handle to move along one axis, or use the curved lines to rotate and the center square to scale. It's that simple. And for quick shortcuts, just remember, G to move, R to rotate, and S to scale. Play around with it. You'll get the hang of it in no time. And that's object mode in a nutshell. Simple, right? Hit that subscribe button, because next up we're diving into edit mode, where things get really interesting. See you in the next one.